ton of advances for the bandage. I wanted to say band-aid, but that is a brand name. Uh, but there is a new product that could actually help people who may suffer from infection. Uh, instead of me telling you, let's take a look. This prototype glows under UV light if the burn is infected. This would give a clear signal to doctors that the child needs to be treated for an infection. As bacteria start to colonise a wound, and they form a dense mat called a bacterial biofilm. In this biofilm state, the bacteria are protected from the immune system, but they also start to switch on their, their production of toxins and of enzymes which break down the host tissue. What our dressing contains are small artificial cells which are broken down by these very same toxins and enzymes. When they're broken down, they release a dye. And this gives a colour change of our dressing from a sort of dull yellow colour to a bright green fluorescent colour. The team has been awarded £1 million by the Medical Research Council for the next stage of the project, where samples will be taken from real-life wounds and used to test the responsiveness of the dressing. So basically how this works is each bandage has three pathogenic biofilms, uh, which will act normally unless they're coming into contact with pathogenic bacteria. Normal harmless bacteria won't affect it. So uh, what would happen is when it comes into contact with that pathogenic bacteria, there are tiny fluorescent capsules that are uh, basically they're caused to burst by that bacteria in specific. Um, so there you go. When you're glowing green, you should probably go see a doctor. <laughs> Science. Yeah. That's all I can say about that. Like that, that is so beyond like anything that you know, I've ever even thought of or imagined in the fact that, you know, they're, you know, the, the medical field is really looking for different ways to really help, you know, um, people who are in pain. I know one of the main examples that they used are like, uh, were, were burn victims, like yes. children who are burn victims. And, you know, I, I, I admire that very much because, you know, you know, burns are some of the most severe um, um, injuries that you can get. And so to be able to detect infections earlier in those kinds of victims may help save them from mm -hmm. certain types of scarring or even more pain or just like having to... Uh, well, see, the problem with burn victims is um, you, you're not able to know if those burns are infected right. until much later. So what happens is doctors will preemptively um, offer antibiotics, which mm. may or may not be a good idea because that builds up, you know, unnecessary antibiotic right. resistance and opens up a whole other host of problems. So um, this could be a great, this this has far-reaching effects from just Absolutely. this Band-Aid glows green when you have a gross infection. It is, this could prevent many other problems. The problem with infection is like, you don't know until it's probably right. a little bit, at least a little bit too late. Right. Uh, so this would be able to help us combat it earlier. Mm -hmm. No, that's that's super cool. Um, like, I, I mean, I don't even know how you know they would think that. Oh, why don't we make a bandage that glows through little capsules that burst inside of it when it's reacting with certain harmful bacteria? Like, that's just mm -hmm. mind blowing to me. So it's essentially an early warning system for mm -hmm. doctors to who would be able to treat for infection or leave it alone and let the person uh, heal in their own way. So this is still in the prototype uh, stage. Mm -hmm. It has not been tested on humans uh, yet, or thoroughly tested on humans yet, though I did see one person was in that video. That's not the same as testing. Um, right. So this is being done by the University of Bath, as you may have noticed in the video, and they have a million pounds to help make it happen. Right. This has so many effects that I think could help so much uh, through branching through many different uh, veins, I'm sorry to say, we use that <laughs> word specifically, veins in the medical field because infection is a big problem that leads to a lot of preemptive uh, death or at least uh, amputation leading to m other problems. It's it's mm -hmm. just such, such something that's hard to combat, but with an early warning detection system, there's so much we can do. So right. it's great. Know, this would help us enormously, especially yeah. if we get into a period where, you know, Maybe there's something going around. Maybe there's some kind of infection going around. I'm not saying zombies, but I am saying zombies. Uh, audience, what do you think? Would you use this early warning detection glow bandage? Let us know below in the comments. What else can we use it for? And please like and subscribe and for more.